My name is Jean-Louis Vibert and I own the store. It's a family store since 1933. It's specialized on mountains, books, photographies, engravings, paintings, books from all over the world on mountains, Alps, Pyrenees, Everest, Himalaya, and Alaska, all kind of mountains around the world. I used to climb. I served in the army as uh, skiers and climber in a special unit near Chamonix, and I love mountains. This is an historical uh, location. Well, the store started in 1933. A cousin of my father, Maxime, met a man called André Val, and André Val was the founder of this store. It was a wealthy Jewish family from Alsace, and he loved books, mountains, climbing, so he had the idea to start the store. And then, when he died in 73, my mother took the store and she became a passionate bookstore keeper. And when she passed away, I decided with my brother and sister to continue. We are just behind the Académie Française, Musée d'Orsay, a few blocks from here, the Louvre on the other side of the Seine. And uh, we have many, many tourists because the store is in his. Uh, we say in français, in his juice, dans son jus, it means it's still in the same shape. You know, it's old-fashioned store, so they like that. And uh, many, many people come inside just to have a look. We have regular clients, they come two or three or four times a, a year. They are Parisian mostly, but some are from the mountains. And we have tourists who see a picture in the window and they say, oh, it's lovely. And they buy one and bring it home. Even a book, we can do that. We have some book in English, as a matter of fact. The favorite book is very often the one you like when you were young. And there is one called uh, Premier de Cordé. It's the story of a young guy, his father in Chamonix, and his father is a guide. And he doesn't want the son to climb. And uh, this is a very human story. When you can do something your father does, when you can do it, you do it. There is a feeling here. When you get in the store, you can feel something about mountains, but also because it's like when you go in, inside the kitchen, you know, you can smell the food even if you don't see it. Here, you, you have a, almost a smell of mountains. When you, you have a subject that you like, like mountains, you have always something common with a guy who have the same feeling about mountains. To be in a, on a mountain, you have to walk and climb. And when you have a customer who is a climber, it's always very easy and interesting to talk to him about the same passion. And there is a relationship between them and me and myself, and we can talk about pictures, books, life, mountains. It's a kind of institution. I think there is no more kind of store like this around the world, especially as a mountain. Maybe uh, one or two. It's not exactly the same. They don't have photographies, for example. Photography is the main subject here now. 
all photographers from all over the world. And that's what the people like the most. Old pictures from 19th century or beginning of the 20th. The American, they, they love mostly Swiss photographies or photographies from uh, Chamonix. And some are really uh, fans of the store. The American tourists who came one or two times a year, they always stop here when they come. We have friends in America. And some come in for the first time because they see the store. Some find us on the internet and they love the store. All the generations are happy here. Old and mixed, young and very young. Yeah, I feel like I could be in the mountains, but I want to go to the mountains often and ski.